Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, uh, dear students, today we will talk about one of the important reactions in the uh, organic chemistry. Because in carbonyl chemistry, the topic is that is the Mirwin Pondorf Valery Reduction Reaction. So, this basically is the first time we have discussed in the classes. Mein. It is the reverse inverse of or it is the reverse reaction of the open air oxidation. As you can see here, yahan pe basically a carbonyl compound, whether it is a lead or ketone, it is getting converted to the carb, the alcohol. So it is a reduction. So this reduction is occurs with the help of this catalyst which is aluminium isopropoxide and in presence of excess of isopropyl alcohol. So we will start this um, today's class. So now let us see here. Definition. Mirwin Pondorf Valery Reduction. It is carried out by heating an aldehyde or a ketone with aluminium isopropoxide. So this is basically the catalyst. In presence of excess of isopropyl alcohol. So if you remember the open air oxidation, we use the solvent, that solvent was the a stone. But in this case, we use excess of isopropyl alcohol. So during the reaction, the aldehyde or the ketone is getting reduced to the corresponding alcohol. So this is our ketone. So this is our substrate. Yani, uh, just Compound pe hum reduction karengi, so that compound we call technically it's a substrate. Substrate in presence of excess of isopropyl alcohol and the catalyst aluminium isopropoxide. Now this is very important. Same catalyst we discussed kiya tha in the open air oxidation. So banta kya hai? This ketone is getting converted to the alcohol. Since it's, since it's a ketone, so we'll always get the reduction of ketone gives 2 degree alcohol. And also we will get the side product, the byproduct rather, that is the stone. So this basically where se banta? It comes from this. Uh, you can see here our isopropyl alcohol. Tha. So we will get the corresponding stone. Okay? So this stone banta kaise hai? That we will see in the mechanism. But before that, an important point we, we should remember for the competitive examination point. That is, the reduction occurs by the transfer of hydride ion. Hydride ion, you know the hydride ion, okay. this is our hydrogen atom. So now if we give one electron to this hydrogen atom, so what we will get, we will get an anion, now that anion is called hydride anion or hydride ion, this one. So in this reaction, the important thing is that the reaction occurs by the transfer of hydride ion from the aluminium isopropoxide. So basically, this catalyst is aluminium isopropoxide. It transfers hydride ion to this carbonyl compound. Remember this. This so reaction is that is conversion of this carbonyl compound into the 2 degree alcohol. We know that we require two hydrogen atoms. So, here we have reduction with the help of hydride ions from this catalyst aluminum isopropoxide. Okay? So, this is important. Conversion of ketone into 2 degree alcohol. This is basically, it happens by the catalyst aluminum isopropoxide and that reduction occurs with the help of hydride ions. Now, this we better understand. Let's look at the reaction mechanism. So this is our a stone molecule. Let's say it's a ketone. If we say R is equal to CH3, then this is a stone molecule. Yahan pe humne isko generalize liya hai. Yani humne isko ek generalize, generalization ki tor liya. We have not specified the name of the compound. So this is a stone or ketone. Now in with the it reacts with the aluminium isopropoxide. Now this is the formula of aluminium isopropoxide. We have aluminium has three valency, so it is three isopropoxide groups. So what it does, it reacts in this fashion. Here you can see this from a little bit. This is our stone molecule. That's the ketone molecule rather, this one. Why did we write this angle? 
for an important reason. Ab dekhi in this step what happens? This is the double bond and then we have interaction of this with the aluminium. Now if you write down this catalyst, that catalyst is basically aluminium. It is bonded with three isopropoxide groups. This is your carbon, methyl, hydrogen and methyl. So same groups we have on the other side also. Please look at this. Similar group we have here and similar groups we have here. So what we have done here? These two groups are the isopropoxide groups. On one side, this oxygen of the ketone, we know it has a lone pair. So it coordinates. It's basically some sort of coordinate bond. So it coordinates with the aluminium. Usse kya hoga? This oxygen, it will get a positive charge. Okay? And this will get a negative charge. Now since it gets a positive charge, siri si baat hai, we know a highly electronegative jab atom pe jab a positive charge aata, it's unstable. So it can stabilize it this with the help of basically this pi bond. Okay? Yahan pe isne straight forward hi dikhaya that this pi bond moves here. It's basically first it coordinates, then it stabilizes. Okay? Now this carbon gets plus charge. So this portion, this isopropoxide portion, third portion of this catalyst. So this hydride ion, hydrogen atom with this bond, it transfers to this carbon which is a plus charge. Because this bond got transferred here. So now it transfers to here, carbon gets plus charge and aluminum has a negative charge, so this bond moves in this direction. The result kya banta hai se? That you have now this molecule. This is the portion of the ketone. Now it's hydrogen atom is here now. It's attached to the OAL, this aluminum part. So we can see this compound is what we have now, this one. And in addition to this, what we got here, that is this stone molecule, this one. So from this portion, this, this was basically a portion of the catalyst, isopropoxide portion of the catalyst. Jahan se this hydrogen in the form of ion hydride ion got transferred and in turn we have the ketone formed. So this is what we have at the moment. And this is the portion of the compound which is now attached to this, uh, the catalyst. Uske baad yahan se kya hota? We know we have the excess of, we are using the excess of isopropyl alcohol. So here we have that isopropyl alcohol molecule now coming into the picture. Ye wala. Now from this side we know oxygen is highly electronegative. So it can lose this, this hydrogen as H plus. So that H plus Now it helps in breakage of this bond. So bring that H plus here and remove this, break this bond. So basically it's like this oxygen, aluminum. So for your understanding. So now when it takes the proton because it has a lone pair, it takes the proton from the alcohol molecule, isopropyl alcohol. And ye jo proton yaha se nikla, it is taken by this oxygen gets a plus charge okay so now plus charge soon this stabilizes means this bond is getting broken down so what we got so we got here basically now this alcohol two degree alcohol and ye jo portion tha yaha pe jo oxygen bana yaha pe so this is yaha jo plus charge bana sorry on this aluminium so this is coordinated by this portion now that is isopropoxide portion. So result kya bana this aluminium, aluminium now gets regenerated as aluminium isopropoxide and this molecule which was initially the stone or ketone, it gets converted to the 2 degree alcohol. So the net result is that, now the important thing is that, please focus on this structure. We have carbon here, I will show it in the form of double bond and a dotted bond this is your oxygen molecule it's coordinated with aluminium and then we have oxygen here it's in the form of a bond and this carbon we have another here hydrogen atom this is bonded with your carbon atom 
अब इस स्ट्रक्चर को गौर से देख लीजिए सो दिस इज ऑक्सीजन दिस इज ऑक्सीजन कार्बन दिस इज कार्बन ऑफ यूर इनशियल कीटोन दिस इज एल्यूमियम ऑफ द कैटलिस्ट ऑक्सीजन ऑफ द कैटलिस्ट कार्बन ऑफ द आइसोप्रोपाइल अल्कोहल ये जो रिंग है दिस इज सिक्स मेंबर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो दिस इज गॉड ए सिक्स मेंबर ट्रांजिशन स्टेट बट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस रिएक्शन सो इन द एम पी वी रिएक्शन दैट्स मीर विन पॉन्डोर वैली रिएक्शन द मैकेजम इन्वॉल्व द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए सिक्स मेंबर ट्रांजिशन स्टेट नाउ वी नो दैट जो ट्रांजिशन स्टेट्स होते हैं दे आर टेम्प्रेरी दे आर अनस्टेबल लेकिन जो मैकेजम पास होते हैं थ्रू सिक्स मेंबर ट्रांसिशन स्टेट सिक्स मेंबर ट्रांसिशन स्टेट इज कंपेरेटिवली स्टेबल सो दिस इज द वन ऑफ दू नो द मोस्ट सूटेबल मैकेजम विच इन्वॉल्व द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सिक्स मेंबर ट्रांसिशन स्टेट उसके बाद में थ्रू दिस ट्रांसिशन स्टेट दिस की टोन गेट्स कन्वर्टेड टू दी टू डिग्री एल्कोहल दैट इज द रिडक्शन ऑफ द की टोन उसके बाद में वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर इस लास्ट लाइन मेर विन फॉन्ड और वैलरी रिडक्शन इज हाईली सिलेक्टिव एंड डजेंट अटैक द डबल बॉन्ड्स ना वट डज दिस मीन ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है एज फर एज द कम्पलीट एग्जाम इज कंसर्न फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हमारा कीटोन था लेट से हियर वी हैव ए कीटोन दिस टाइप ऑफ कीटोन this is a ketone it contains a double bond so that means this is unsaturated carbonyl compound now agar ab yahan pe instead of ketone you take this unsaturated carbonyl compound as the substrate and then you do the similar reaction in presence of aluminum isopropoxide so now question is that we have a double bond this is also the unsaturated portion will this bond gets reduced or not or will only this carbonyl portion gets reduced to the alcohol as per the this statement that एम पी वी रक्शन इज हाईली सिलेक्टिव एंड इट डजेंट अटैक द डबल बॉन्ड इसका मतलब यह है इन केस ऑफ अनसेचुरेटेड कार्बोन कंपाउंड दिस डबल बॉन्ड डजेंट गेट्स रिड्यूस्ड इट ऑनली रिड्यूस द कार्बोन पोर्सन सो दिस इज कॉल्ड कीमियो सिलेक्टिव रिएक्शन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो आप आराम से इसका कंपाउंड बना सकते हो जस्ट कन्वर्ट दिस ओ इन टू ओ एच फुट हाइड्रोजन एटम हियर एंड फुट अन अदर हाइड्रोजन एटम हियर सो दिस इज एज इट सो दिस इज अनसेचुरेटेड alcohol now this is very important uh the is ke alawa now the question is that since it doesn't it converts carbonyl compounds into alcohols it doesn't converts the carbonyl compounds into the alkenes which is the lowest level of carbon so we should say it's a mild reducing agent so aluminum isopropoxide it's a mild reducing agent isko bhi hum mild rakh sakte hain so in nutshell mere bin pond or of Valley reduction it involves conversion of carbonyl compounds, whether it's aldehydes or ketones, into the corresponding. It reduces this into the corresponding alcohols in presence of excess of isopropyl alcohol, and the catalyst used is aluminium isopropoxide. At this, the mechanism of this reduction involves the hydride transferring from the aluminium isopropoxide to the carbonyl compound, and in the mechanism we have the formation of six membered transition state and finally this reaction is highly selective that is if you have a double bond in your substrate in your carbonyl compound in presence of this catalyst uh, this double bond that double bond doesn't get reduced so this is highly selective or we can say this method can be used for the uh, preparation of unsaturated alcohols so this was all about our today's important naming reaction that is meer bin pond or valley reduction iske alawa if you have any question you please write down in the comments or if you feel any any wire confusion you can write down the comments to so inshallah we'll see in the next class hopefully in the next class we'll come up with the few more naming reduction reactions like wolf kishner reduction clavenson reduction and so on so this is all about uh, today's class and also we'll be keeping a pdf note also एक छोटा सा नोट होगा दैट विल बी अटैच इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू कैन डाउनलोड दैट एंड यू कैन यूज इट फॉर द एग्जाम पर्पज सो थैंक यू दिस इज ऑल फॉर टुडे